Hatch me is unlocked. Damn. I was on the time. I hope Morgan enjoy the game, really. See, I didn't get far on, me rec on my recent account. Um, because it was really just a test to see if the game still worked, and uh, my old memory card for that had my old account on from years ago. I don't know where that's went. So I'm using a new memory card here. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Mind you, I, I'm probably gonna... Like, if people actually do start doing this video, I probably will get a couple of messages saying something about Daniel Craig and all that, saying he's the best Bond and stuff. I don't care, that's your opinion, I'm just saying mine. Uh, upgrades. Oh, why not? Extras? What's an extras? Wait, is this one that has, um... Oh, yes! Wait, is this like... Can you purchase these for, like, the online mode? You, well, was it online or, like, the multiplayer mode? It's a shame because everyone's only interested in, like, fucking Call of Duty. I'll be honest, I wasn't a big fan of this mission. This is an infiltration mission. It's the next mission that I am... Um, I struggle on. Uh, I tend to struggle on. Anyways, I hope you start oh, shit. Me being a fucking idiot and not paying attention. You would have seen us anyway. Him. Sep, I saw you. He's down. Ah, oh, shit. Again, didn't pay attention. My bad. Shit, um, can I just stealth kill him? Anyone? I do hope no one minds about me talking about James Bond because all the films are just epic in their own way. Except Quantum of Solace. Oh, 
Shit. Nice ones. Where the fuck's that coming from? Hey, yo, yo, no, hey, no, I want to talk. some sort for the minute. Best um yeah, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to keep uh, the commentary coming so uh uh I'll be talk oh yeah I'm talking about the films so like why not? Personally I think the best film is between Between, um, see, it's hard for me to think because there's so many good Bond films, but um, I can't choose like one favorite. Because Goldfinger was great. That's my favorite. Uh, one of my favorites. Um, this from Russia with Love. That's fantastic. You know the. Timothy Dalton films, they're fantastic. Uh, personally, I think. Shit! Oh, bollocks! Sneaky mother. Where'd all, where'd all you bastards come from? Point of seeing in stealth mode, isn't it? Special ammo, every weapon has special ammo, blah blah blah. Oh. Fuck it, I'm gonna kill you guys. Um. I would say uh, The Living Daylights is the best Bond film, just in my opinion though. I mean Goldfinger comes so close, but Living Daylights is just perfect representation of a Bond film. Uh, worst one is probably Dying of a Day. Actually, it's between dying of a day and... Right, as I was saying, between dying of a day and man with the golden gun. Not that they're terrible or anything, I mean, at the very most, they're enjoyable. Because 
well, fair enough, the plot for um, the man with the golden gun, that was weak. <laughs> Do I have like any ammo left in this? Nope. Okay. Boom. Let's get some ammo. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm ammo for golden gun. Fantastic. Well, no, it, the storyline was pretty bland. But Christopher Lee is Scaramanga. Perfect. Um, die another day. It was fun, but it was stupid. Where else was it? Diamonds are forever disappointing. Made it. Oh no. No. Record time, Mr. Gray. You are indeed the killer I'm looking for. When do I get to kill the real James Bond? Oh, look, it's Daniel Craig. At least he looks like him. From the yeah. Russians, their new Lexor decoding machine. Just a joke. And Bond is going to do it for us. We assume that's who MI6 will send. There is a girl in the Russian consulate in Istanbul, Tatiana Romanova, who I've ordered to help. She believes I am still with KGB. Won't MI6 suspect it's a trap? My reading of the British mentality is that they always see a trap as a challenge. And then you can avenge the death of our Dr. No. Let Bond's death be a part what a twist. and humiliating. I look forward to it. And for my next miracle? You're going to need a miracle, James, to explain where you've been all week. Oh, money, Penny. Let me tell you the secret of the world. You'll have time for that later, 007. Step into my office immediately. I mean, there's a few things around here that's kind of like, you know, just to pass the time if you bought X and you want to explore a couple of things. Like, you know, go through this, you may find something. Oh, yeah, I forgot you've got. And then you got, you, you know, stupid stuff where, like, to start. But I'm not going to bother because um... It seems you have an admirer, a woman in Istanbul, Tatiana Romanova, who's fallen quite in love with you. But I've never even heard of a Tatiana Romanova. <laughs> of course, girls do fall in love with pictures of film stars. But not a Russian cipher clerk with a file photo of a British agent. Ridiculous, isn't it? No, it's some sort of trap. Precisely, and the bait is a brand new lector, a Soviet decoder machine. The CIA has been after one of those for years. And so have we. When she contacted Kerim Bey, head of Station T in Turkey, she said she wanted to defect, and she'd turn over the lector to us on one condition, that you went to Istanbul and brought her and the machine back to England. 
The whole thing is so fantastic, it just might be true. You're booked on the 8.30 flight to Istanbul. Q is waiting for you. I haven't seen this one. Is it a lamp or this? I'm just flicking through the slides again. Not too bothered. Did you hear about the chap at the boxes? Is it that one day we'll all have computers on our desktops and be able to communicate? I mean, I was tempted to do, um, to play. Good on morning, Devil Else Heaven. Everything and nothing, you. but. How have you been? Sean busy Connery. Things? Not That's as busy as you've been destroyed. Chose though. this one. Follow me, Devil Else Heaven, and try not to break anything. <laughs> <laughs> 